Yappo, minasan, and welcome to yet another episode of Way of the Wyvern. Today with Base Blue EU Open Reground 21, the tournament that features uh, single digits. And this time around I'm trying to cut on the editing time, so I, I apologize in advance for lots of stuttering and uh, other stuff that I will do. This tournament was uh, hosted by Healing Potato, responsible for the stream, uh, Dr. Izzy and Ancestor on the commentary. And the very first match that you're seeing right now was me versus PC Vault and we two faced off on stream actually. So make sure to also watch that one because that's very nice high quality commentary from those, if slightly horny from Dr. Izzy's side, but you know I'm a Kagura main so I approve of that. But yeah, as we are right now, it's looking fairly dire, but I get the big combo starter for Bang, and I actually get the combo that I tried the last times all the time, and that's 4.5k damage, plus 600 damage of poison, so 5.2k damage, so that's Kagura damage here. And I only needed uh, 50 meter for that. So, actually the reason why I'm using Bang is because I never heard of PC Volt before. And he was blue squared, so I thought, yeah, I might uh, try it. But again, the squares are not a good representation of skill. Especially the lower ones, the blue ones. Because... If you don't know how squares work in, Bla in Blaze Blue and other arc system works game, essentially you can only rank down and up when you fight players with the same square. So if you win a lot against the same uh, colored square opponent, then you rank up. But if you lose a lot, then you rank down. And so if you lose a lot in the beginning, but then get very good, then obviously you will be stuck with a blue square, unless you go out of your way and find people who are blue squares. And also, if you're really scrummy, then you could actually um, get one of those on purpose. And, um, and yeah, get an advantage over your opponent by, by actually faking that you're weak and then being strong. But I'm, of course, I'm not accusing PC World of doing that. I'm just saying it's a possibility for people in general if they are blue squared and then actually really good. So yeah, it's a bit sad I couldn't comment that much on the uh, Bang vs Naoto gameplay. Oh, no, I can. Not on the first match though. But yeah. So essentially also this matchup, I don't know how good it is for Bang especially, uh, particularly, but um, yeah, he's putting lots of pressure on me right now. And I think that those those large, uh, long-range D attacks are actually kind of a problem for Bang, unless you get the read and get a drive attack for this. But very convincing round from PC Volt, they are getting the perfect. And I even uh, did a momentum burst in that round, so yeah. I will get this back probably, but not that great to also raise resources. So essentially, I should have air dash there to get a better combo, but yeah, I'm starting out with this character so I get what I can. And I'm actually fairly proud of what I can already pull off with him, even though none of the stuff here is is nearly optimal. So if you want optimal gameplay then follow Maho Shoujo and Ancestor and you will probably see lots of great stuff. And of course international banks, but you get a list on Dust Loop if you're interested. And this was so bad that I didn't get a punish because that could have been probably my round if I knew the combos, but at the very least I could have done uh, insane damage back. And here I missed the confirm with the rapid cancel, I didn't dash. And so he actually read my jump, uh, countered it with the 2D, and I'm off. So. Because I'm a coward, I switched to Kagura and I thought I had him in the back because the uh, day before I played Morph, Morph Red? Yeah, Morph Red, not Morph Bar, that's uh, 
amalgamation that people made up. I fought more threat on rank and I did pretty well, so I won overall, but yeah, we it was a very close even sets. So yeah, considering Morph Red is a fairly known, very strong Naoto player, I saw the heads is in the back. So that's why I switched. I think uh, looking at the last round I could have also stick with Bang because Bang uh, didn't do that bad. It, I mean he won the first game and in the second game I got walled a bit but still doable in my opinion. Uh, either way, whether I win this or not, I, the reward would be fighting Nessica, so I didn't have to go so try hard here and pick out my Kagura. Especially as, as you see, it's not working out really, which is a bit sad because he's my signature hero, as I said on stream. Shout out to the to Dr. Izzy and Ancestor again. Great job, very entertaining. Watch the full set of. Place to Europe regrown. They also wanted more ways to chill the stream. And also another shout out to them for not shouting at me for using the stream footage because actually this match got um, did not get into my so I forgot upload uh, so I forgot recording while the sets were played. And then this particular match wasn't in my replay theater. So I <laughs> take footage, took footage of their of the stream, and muted it. So that's also why you don't have any game sound. But yeah, probably not that much of an issue. Theoretically, I could redo them by hand, but no one is crazy enough to do that. And I feel like a whimsical Waiwan, Waiwan, and whatever Naoto is shouting wouldn't be that much of. Um, wouldn't be that great for the experience either because it would make it very silly. And I like silly but uh, I don't have to be silly if there's no reason for it. And here I'm in a good position, I have go I've got a massive life lead but I gamble it all on the Seafafnir. The Y1 gets Sway which is actually something that PC Vault did very well to adapt to um, use Sway in the correct the spots. And I believe that's also a reason why I had so my uh, such problems with him here because Morph Morph didn't do that, and he gets my Lindworm with the projector invulnerability on his super, and that seals the round actually, which is pretty sad because now I'm uh, two one against him. He won, and this is slightly of an upset because he was lower ranked Elo than me, but. We don't care, it's just another loss and we brush those off and we continue focus on the next match against Kami. We have already fought in this in this format, I will probably put a put an image on screen somewhere. And yeah, let's see how this goes. So my favorite music is playing by the way, from Idol Music. It must have been the best cover. Uh, ever to grace this planet. Yeah, I'm an edgy boy. And I'm a dancey boy, so that's, that's that. Already getting in the lead. Actually, he could have blocked the Y1 because I was too far with the uh, 5C. And that was an unfortunate drop for me. Still have to get more reliable with that confirm. He even gets the purple throw. So pretty much evens it out, even got his uh, burst back because he got into active flow with that purple throw. And gets a big boy Terumi combo. So yeah, people say Terumi is low tier, but I think he still got some juice. But ultimately I still have to say that um, the Terumi player has to work harder than the Kagura player, but you know, Kagura is triple S tier as I say. I could have finished it here, so that's pretty bad from my side. I still get him with the Sirish clip, but yeah, they could have gone down. But either way, I got the round and I still have burst advantage, so that's amazing. He's pressuring quite well with a bit of stagger pressure and his 
to leave 6C, which is pretty good actually, despite what one, uh, some people might say, because it can stop uh, jump out attempts. And I'm fairly much of a chicken. So pretty similar to Hoon when he started out. So if you don't remember, I also got the story time in one of those episodes. But yeah, getting those well-placed Wyverns in is always great. And here he, the combo time was actually over, and he didn't take, didn't barrier guard after taking. So I get even more damage out of that. Which is insane. Yeah, Terumi's jump, jump D is such a good button. And also his, uh, I believe it's 2C, his anti air is also not bad, the anti air that he uses. And I think he also has another anti air, so that's pretty good. And that is the best usage of Lindwurm I have found so far. So, Terumi's 5D is fairly slow to come out, but fairly, um, plus on block, and if I can just stuff it from far away with Lint Boom, which uh, is something that Puffmi could not accomplish, then that can be a, a game-winning situation like that. And with that he uh, switched character, and as we saw in my first match, switching characters is not always something that works out, even if you're playing the, a character that you are more familiar with. And I also think last time we played he also um, switched characters to Ragnar. And honestly, I think after playing a bit more, that uh, um, <laughs> yeah, the triple Y one we love to see it. Um, that uh, Ragnar Kagura matchup actually might be in Kagura's favor, just because Kagura's defensive tools are so super strong among the best in the game. I mean, I'm not saying it as a joke when I say he's triple S. I mean, other characters might be Z and Ubers and what whatever, but he's pretty good. And he feels so much stronger than any character in any other game I've played, which is insane. That people then say he's low tier, which is definitely not something I agree with. Yeah, that was pretty good awareness for me, not going for the 2DC, for the Naga there, because that would have whipped. Because I didn't get the micro dash after the jump in. Also, the music is popping. Shout out to all those artists that uh, gave me their permission. I kind of want to summon along, but yeah, not yet. Maybe when the round has finished and there's nothing more to say. Can't even see but yeah, aber very nice. German as fuck. Um, but yeah. I took it and I have to lab a confirm for the for the Carnage Scissor, uh, Carnage Scissor Punish. But yeah, next Ragnar facing me Neapolitan was actually kind of difficult to find uh, enough Ragnar fitting music in my in my folders. But yeah, still got around it. Also, I love the acoustic. Ragnar's theme, it's one of the best. Also, one thing that is all fairly good in this matchup with the Bifafnir, because you can get, um, you can punish Gauntless Hades and Death Side with it, and of course jump ins as with any character, and, um, and you also get a fairly free conversion with him because you don't have to do the micro dash against Ragnar. Because Ragnar is a big boy. But meanwhile, I'm talking about other stuff and Ragnar, Neapolitan especially, is beating me up. He has also beaten me before here in tournament and we also have footage of that, which is nice. Sadly, no pickup from my side and yeah, he gets me with the god with Hades. You have to be ready for that, even if b is godlike at punishing that, it's still not as... It's not an easy one-click button, you have to be ready for it. I actually have to lap if I can get better confirms with 5C, probably. Way better. 
but it's not really something that happens that often. But I get a 5C mid range and the opponent isn't jumping. Because usually when the opponent isn't jumping, I'm uh, I'm hitting with the 2C. And this round is fairly commanding for me, but he got the grab. I don't know why he didn't uh, continue the combo. And just let me escape there, reset to neutral. That was a pretty good carnage to that, especially as he also uh, ran in before that, so that's pretty difficult, I'd say. Getting the what I call the Crescent Moon motion while running. And boom, Tetris for Don Whipple. Nah, <laughs> just had to say this. I'm kind of a esports guy and like to watch diff different stuff. The simple combos for Kagura also already doing 3k damage is pretty satisfying. And the reason why I consider him a good character for starters. Even though that means learning charge motions and charge character, which is a bit in unintuitive when you start out. But on the other hand, it's probably a lot easier to get consistent with. And yeah, barrier blocking the second Inferno Divider gets me the game and I didn't do that much proper play-to-play -play commentary. I'm sorry for that, but hope you like the color commentary on this one. Gets me with the jump in. And it goes for a cheeky reset after the uh, Inferno Divider, and I'm not sure what you could get there in the corner otherwise. But I'm not falling for the cheeky reset, that's a good thing. And gets enter air with the Inferno Divider, and I'm noticing obviously differences in playstyle because Neapolitan is very Inferno Divider heavy and he likes to. Uh, cancel his Inferno Divider into his Inferno Divider up on Clash, like this, and that is actually fairly hard to deal with, because, yeah, it's an invincible reversal, right? And if he can stop me uh, abusing my JC, that definitely, definitely makes the job harder for me. Another Miss B Fafnir from me, but even then, look how this... Um, how this interaction goes in my favor actually because I get like 3k damage when I hit a B Fafnir and he gets a little bit of damage and uh, I think he can also get 3k but still getting 3k for defending versus getting 3k on offense is a big difference I believe and I need, still need to get better with it because if I were playing the the Kagura Peak gameplay and wouldn't let him Gauntlet Hades or Death Side, um, then he would actually be pretty, pretty free Ragnar as a character. And he's trying to bait my uh, beef of me all the time with jumping and uh, barrier blocking in the air, but it's not really working out. Good to ju uh, to block afterwards, but maybe he should have uh, done another Inferno Divider. But still gets me with the Inferno Divider, and so we go even 1-1 one, one in this match so far, in this set so far, rather. And yeah, let's see what this last match or set brings. If I lose this, I'm a loser, so that would be a very short tourney. And I hope you don't uh, look at the duration and spoil yourself. But if you did, I forgive you. It's not that much of a crime, you only spoil your own enjoyment. And that is also something like, um, Ragnar likes to do dead spike resets to continue his pressure. And Kagura can stuff them out with Tifafni fairly easily. Which is great. And of course, Tifafni when in doubt is, al is always nice. Unfortunate whiff on the Inferno Divider and the YOLO JC hits it. He had the right idea, I had the wrong idea and still I won. 
it's a little bit sad, but hey, that's what I am. I'm, uh, I'm definitely a hard player, I'm not a, I'm not a mind or body player. But of course, if you're familiar with that uh, concept, then you know that there's not hun that you can't be 100% one and 0% the other. So a little bit of everything. But still, with the heart being my most common trait, I miss the uh, 6A, which is sad. I maybe should have gone for the 3C, which is easier to get. That was actually pretty a fairly bad burst. Because, uh, yeah, he <laughs> didn't the wrong combo starter, the Sylph. And here again, Fafnir, as you saw, 3k damage, easy. And that's really good adapt adaptation, Six, doing 6b, because that's obviously something I can't be Fafnir out of, I can see Fafnir out of, but I have to be ready for the 6b as well. And adding the 6b to the Gauntlet Hades. Oh, and of course the low options that Ragnar has makes him a lot more scary. I honestly don't know what the um, JB in the combo is supposed to do for Ragnar. You know, I'm a Ragnar the Bra Edge player myself. <laughs> As you've seen in the last video, but nah, I'm not good. It's more like the it's the meme Ragnar that everyone has in Europe, or not in Europe, in Blazeville in general. Sadly, no punish on his Inferno Divider, because that was actually a fairly godlike bait with the stance cancel. But still, of course, stance has 10 frames, and I'm not sure how much uh, 10 frames start up, and I'm not sure how much frames the cancel is. So it might have been pretty difficult to get the. Uh, Cancel there. I get more here, but yeah. This is dead because he popped overdrive. Because if he hadn't popped overdrive and had saved it for the burst, then I would have won. Uh, then he could have still won. But this way, I get my sneaky 5.5k, not even that much for Kagura, with an overdrive finish. And yeah, that was this set. Neapolitan, very strong. And oh. No, that's, that's actually the last match. I thought I had misarranged. Oh, now I spoiled, but hey. You saw my opponent, right? <laughs> you saw who? And you maybe know my match history against this player. So, I think it's both a matchup and a player thing. I have played against. Um, not Warboss, Montes, uh, who is a reformed Ezreal player who now plays Mai because uh, top tier, probably. And um, yeah, and I was able to pretty much beat him fairly consistently with Kagura, but not Hoon. So definitely a player matchup thing too. But Mai, pretty difficult with her long poke range that are all that are also fast because that little bit of range advantage that I have they can usually uh, compensate with the just with just the quick dash in. It's pretty much the same as with uh, S. But personally I find uh, a nice projectile to be way more annoying and a lot more difficult to Y1 through which also makes it really difficult to get this big Y1 counter hits. And here I got a Y1 counter hit, but I didn't uh, confirm correctly, and he had burst either way and used it too. I'm not sure actually about what uh, my overdrive would have done, so I'm not sure if doing the burst here was the right play, but as you see, it works out. Just trying to Fafnir too much and getting hit before the Fafnir can come out with stagger pressure. So I tried the unsinkable win with Bang and yeah let's see how this goes essentially. I didn't see me winning this with Kagura so might as well test my Bang on Hoon. On Hoon's Mai I know that against Montes Mai uh, he was thrash completely. So Montes shut him down completely. But yeah that's not how this works right. 
I can't think of Hoon as a Montes upgrade. I have to think of Hoon as Hoon and Montes as Montes and both are players with the same character but different different patterns and um, skill level in different matchups. So that's exactly why I pulled out the bang. And I'm sorry uh, for all those Hakuman and Ragnar fans out there. Is those characters will probably be pretty rare on stream or uh, on video. And yeah, just as expected, he takes the first round very convincingly with against my bang. And again, the projector I hate it. And the and I think the launch downwards even evades lots of stuff like my 3C and stuff. Fairly good jump out here because that's uh, plus on block. The C no X X flip. I get a 3C but no meter and no counter hit so nothing meaningful. That's, that projector is actually actually a low, which is kinda confusing. Because it's a projector, right? <laughs> and she isn't uh, And she isn't a zona character like New that where I would expect this. Good rapid cancel there to make it safe. Because a beginner mice may try to abuse that move because it's not that easy to punish. But it is punishable and depending on your character it can be very big. I know that with Kagura I go for 6C and boom, get them. Get them. <laughs> so I hope for that one to, uh, for the super to hit them and then rapid cancel out. But I get the 5A after his dive kick. And yeah, get around. That is already more than Kagura can accomplish. So. That makes lets me believe that Bang indeed is the answer for bad matchups with Kagura. But of course I have to lap him more and I got like hundred matches in player match and um and ranked each. So there's still a lot of room, especially with the technical character like like Bang. Ancestor told me he wanted to try out more characters when once we reach six thousand matches because he believes that Bang uh, deserves that much attention to become actually good. So yeah everyone that's this was Blaze Blue EU open <laughs> Blaze Blue EU open just just let the German get out. 21. They host weeklies and monthly tournaments every Saturday and uh, other very funny side events like team tourneys and wanted and all those good stuff. Also join Hard Edge for weekly streams of several games, most notably of course Blaze Blue Central Fiction and make sure to enter the next Salt EU. And yeah guys that was a lovely episode of Way of Survivor and with Place Blue EU Open Regon 21. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we we'll see each other in tournament. Bye bye!